Welcome, my name is Helmut Grasberger and I work as Application Engineer at AVL. Now I want to present you the fuel cell validation and optimization using AVL Cameo. We start with a short overview what UUTs and tasks can be covered. Cameo is a very versatile tool that can be used in eDrive, ICE and of course also fuel cell calibration. And today we will focus on the stack and system calibration and testing. Cameo can be used for pure simulation. Today we focus on test environments as cell and stack testbeds and system testbeds such as AVL Puma. The tasks are validation tasks mainly for cell tests such as end-of-line testing and polarization curve tests and optimization tasks such as efficiency of optimization, the optimization of transient behavior and also the development of virtual sensors. First we will have a look at the challenges that an application and development engineer will face. So in the optimization tasks there is the challenge to have a hardware frozen and you have to find the optimum calibration which is yet robust. And this in a dimension in a multi-dimensional input space you have to find the best efficiency and you have to operate the testbed safely and care for the expensive prototypes. And also you have to take care for environmental effects and aging effects. But not only optimization tasks bear some challenges, also validation tasks such as end-of-line tests, polarization curves or durability tests. There is the possibility that an application engineer, development engineer wants to have a polarization curve tested. And he does this manually, maybe because of the lack of time to automate it or the lack of knowledge. So this is done, there are results, but then a bit later, development engineer B wants to have the same task, but he does it in a different manner. Again, because he might have the ability to do automation and he does the automation, but this might be specific for his testbed. In the end, there are different results done at the same time, but with different flavors like different stabilization times and when the recorders are started and so on. So how? Can we standardize this process? Our ABL solution with Cameo is to offer a standardized Cameo test library. The tests are stored in a central database visible for all users and all testbed operators and the interfaces to a wide variety of testbeds will ensure these tests are applicable on all the testbeds in the field. So, as an effect, you can apply the tests in the whole test field and the results will be comparable. It is the same test procedure, the same name conventions, same data structure, which will yield in a high test quality. Now, if we have a look at these kind of tests, they are very specific. Many temperatures, pressures and so on need to be defined. To help the operator, to reduce complexity, AVL Cameo will offer a layout concept where, first of all, ready-to-run tests can be drag and dropped from a library and only relevant parameters are visible to the testbed operator. Also, it is very easy to define test sequences for 24-7 operation. Now, we will have a look also at the challenges for more complex tests, such as optimization tests and the optimization tasks after the test. So first of all, we have to have a look at fuel cell systems and the various inputs, such as pressure levels, temperature levels and so on. It's a high dimensional input space and how to, efficiency, uh, sorry, how to maximize efficiency in these systems and yet have a safe and durable operation. So, 
how can I improve my calibration with manual tweaking having uh, been at uh, a level where you cannot reach any better result? Then is there a quicker way and is there a smarter way? In the next slides we will see the AVL solution for this. So there are five main steps. First of all, a design is set up, a design of experiment. You will only measure the really needed amount of data to reduce the testbed time. And this data is measured in a very smart way. There is a methodology called Active DOE, which is enhanced with an STS feature we will see later on. Active DOE means the DOE is also designed with the knowledge of the running test, which is a AVL patented methodology. Once the test is performed, the data can be put in an automatic modeling feature where models are created for the usage of optimization, but also these models can be shared with other departments. When optimization is done to achieve maximum efficiency, and also keep boundary conditions that are important for aging effects. These results can be fitted into calibration maps, ready to use in the FCCU. Now we will have a closer look at the active STS DOE methodology. What does it mean, STS? It means slow dynamic slopes. To explain the difference between conventional data logging and STS data logging, we will have a look at how conventionally data is logged. First of all, there is the need to go from one operating point with one parameter set to another one. This is done in a slow slope and eventually you have some limit reactions, some temperature, pressure, whatever, too high. You have to go back a bit and reapproach and stabilize to have one good measurement. This routine will take minutes, eventually longer, and the output is one point. So from the stabilized measurement of maybe one minute, you have output of one point. All the gray points, which represent the way to and back, the next point, are not considered. Now STS DOE is just the idea to use all the recorded data and use it for measurement and model building. So now this is um, explained in this way in this graphic, but we will have a look in an, uh, in an animation as well. If you look at the variation space as a 2D plot, you will see there is a lot of blue points filled with recorded data. If we had a conventional measurement routine, only the green dots would show up and you can see a considerable increase of data that can be used to ca capture high non-linearities and also you have training data near dangerous areas. This very high amount of data can also be handled with ease with RNN models and ensure accurate predictions. With this methodology, 50% of the test time can be saved compared to standard DOE approaches. To sum it up, we will hear ab uh, about the customer benefits again. So ABL CAMIO will ensure high testbed utilization and high quality of tests. Then as an effect, cost and prototype reduction is possible. Up to 90% of the time can be saved with using active DOE, STS and transient DOE. And also the result is a reliable and robust optimization. I want to thank you for your attention and if you want to have some more information, please contact our AVL affiliates. Thank you.